we are here this afternoon at Muskegon's Hackley Public Library for their Therapy Dog Reader Program. I'm going to introduce you to Bruce McLenathan. He is the president of West Michigan Therapy Dogs and have him explain a little bit about what we're doing here this afternoon. Well, first of all, thanks a lot for having us. I uh, really appreciate being here. We're a fairly large group of 250 members, mm -hmm. and we provide dogs to 129 different programs. Wow. And one of our real successful programs is Rough Readers. Mm -hmm. And Rough Readers is the opportunity for a young child to read to a dog. Aww. And of course, dogs are not very critical. <laughs> <laughs> and consequently, it's really good to develop the reading skills of the young people. That's excellent. What kids, What ages are the kids typically? Well, generally, they're usually, uh, we usually get up maybe about 12, you know, so reading age to about 12. Neat. And what ages are the dogs? The dogs are all ages. Uh, you have to be one year old to be a West Michigan therapy dog. Are they particular breeds? No, they're not. Uh, in fact, I was kind of disappointed today. One of our special dogs, a mm -hmm. pit bull, uh, couldn't make it. But, uh, but So you can read to a pit bull. You can read to a Bernese mountain dog. Oh, you can. Neat. And, of course, uh, my particular favorite are the miniature schnauzers because oh. they're our dogs. Tell me a little bit about what it takes to be a therapy dog. How does that program work? The way it works is generally you like to see a dog that does have some obedience, mm -hmm. socializes well with other dogs, and I'm going to say socializes with people. Now, be, have to be careful there. I don't want them jumping on people. Right. But at least, you know, is comfortable around people. So that's the traits we look for. Mm -hmm. The very first thing that we do is we do a little pre-screen before we allow people to take the class. Okay. They come in, and what they do is we put them in some different uh, types of situations in that to make sure that there's a good chemistry. Mm -hmm. After we've approved them, then they take the seven-week class. Okay. After the seven-week class, if they pass, they then do three shadow visits. So they okay. go out with three different members, three different places, uh -huh. and we do a write-up on them. And mm -hmm. if they pass those, then they can become a member of West Michigan Therapy Dog. Oh, how cool. We cover everything. We uh, go into DeVos Kids Hospital. Oh. We go to St. Mary's Hospital. We go to Metropolitan Hospital, in, uh, or Metro Health Hospital, it's called now. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, we do that. We do Mary Freebed. Then we also go to a lot of seniors' homes. And uh, we go to hospice programs. Oh, wonderful. So uh, pretty much everything. You were telling me something kind of neat that I'd like you to share on camera about a, a gentleman with Alzheimer's. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago, and what we had is we had a situation where individual, we brought the dog in, and the fella could not remember his wife's name, but he remembered the dog's name oh, from the week neat. previous, and uh, it just kind of touches your heart, and you, you know, you really feel the dogs do some good. So these dogs are owned by West Michigan residents then? Yes, they're owned by the people that take them. And these people bring them in and, and um, put them in service? Yes, they do. How they are different than a service dog. A service dog is covered by the American Disabilities Absolutely. Act. Absolutely. These are not. These and are just, yeah. So you're not going to see these wandering around grocery stores no, no, help, no, 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 no. helping somebody. No, no, they no. strictly are more for the socialization with the patients. How cool. I remember... Um, this was a few years back and they still work with us. We work closely with Clock Funeral Home and mm -hmm. Jody Clock began with Max and he was the therapy dog at Clock and he was fantastic. He was basically there just to provide comfort. My and wife had a really, really, uh, when you talk about funerals, my wife had a, a very interesting situation with a, a, a lady, an older lady that she helped. This lady was kind of uh, kind of ornery and uh -huh. kind of tough on the staff. Uh -huh. And uh, what we ended up doing is Kathy would bring a hard-boiled egg each week, uh -huh. and they wanted her to use her hands more. Mm -hmm. So she'd bring her the hard-boiled egg, she would break the egg and mm -hmm. peel it, which mm -hmm. was giving her her therapy, mm -hmm. and she'd feed it to the dog. Aww. And developed a really a close affiliation with the dog. And How when she sweet. passed away... Her family actually got in touch with my wife and wanted the dog to go to the funeral. Oh, how sweet. Tell me what got you into this and how long you yourself have been involved. Well, I can tell you, uh, I'm going to blame my wife for it. She's the <laughs> one that got me involved. Uh, she, uh, she had been involved for a few years with it. We've always had dogs. We love mm -hmm. dogs. But she had been really involved in uh, taking the dogs and everything else. And uh, then she got me taking 
one of the dogs to a, a metro hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they were up for, uh, it was election time. Uh -huh. And I've been very involved in a lot of different volunteer organizations, and they were looking for some people that, you know, that administratively uh, might want to help out. So I ran for president, uh, got elected, and ended up president of the organization. How cool is that? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the dogs that are visiting today. Well, today we have uh, uh, Barb Gino's dog, Max, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Barb is one of the new uh, board members and also okay. does some dog training and everything else. I uh, don't know a lot about Max, I, I hate to tell you, but mm -hmm. uh, we also have a, a young lady uh, over there, Abigail, uh -huh. who has Roxy with mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. and then Kathy is here, my wife, with mm -hmm. Skyla, who's our dog. Oh, how neat is that? That's wonderful. Well, I ha would love to thank you for this. This has been great. Maybe now we can speak to a couple of the dog owners. You sure and can. And meet the dogs and maybe, talk, great. maybe talk to some parents and the kids. The dogs, I'm sure, would love to speak with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you once again. Bruce. As my sad tell, you can't talk, but I can tell you my story, said, said dog. One night I was doing a comedy show for the sheep and a wolf stole a sign of This is Abigail and Roxy. Hi, how are you Hi. doing? Tell me a little about you and Roxy. Well, um, Roxy is eight years old oh. and um, she is a rescue. And uh, we got her from an animal shelter from Ionia. And, and what kind is she? We think that she might be a beagle mix. Oh, she's so cute. But we're not exactly sure. So um, we've had her ever since she was a puppy, and we graduated from a West Michigan Therapy Dog back in December. That's excellent. What got you interested in putting Roxy into therapy dogs? Well, um, my husband and I don't have any children, but my girlfriend came over with her little boy, and I seen how Roxy um, interacted with the little boy, mm -hmm. and um, I knew that I had to do something with her. Um, rather than just letting her stay inside all day and look at squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. That's incredible. That's inc So does she do, just do the Rough Reader program or does she do all? Um, actually, this is her first time with the Rough Reader program. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. I normally do another program um, with um, at-risk teenagers. Oh, wow. How so, neat. Yes. How do, how, do you, how do you think that's going? Tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, it's really great. Uh, it's a quite a bit different setting than a library. We're actually in a gymnasium. Uh -huh. So um, we do agility work with the dogs. Uh -huh. And um, it's shown to um, help the boys uh, lower their aggression. Really? Do yes. You, that's pretty. Do you see, like, if you think of like, some of the kids that have gone through the program that you've worked with, do you actually see a difference in them as they work with the kids or yes, with the dogs? Yes, definitely. Do There's you? There's definitely a difference in their demeanor and just how they um, exchange communications with their other peers that are in the program. And it's, it's awesome. What a warm feeling that must give you, huh? It does. That's amazingly cool. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to thank you too, Pop. You're such a sweet dog, aren't you? Yeah. She's, look at her. She's a ham, aren't you? Yeah. Thank you.